Have you ever seen these types of videos? Reddit videos are constantly taking over short form video content through Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube and get millions and millions of views. They all follow the same formula, Minecraft background with an Ask Reddit thread being read out by a robot. The only part of this that's being done by a human is stitching it all together, not anymore. I spent two days on and off automating this process. Finally, I made a bot that makes these Reddit videos with just one simple command. Here's how it works. First, it uses the Reddit API to grab a random thread of the Ask Reddit subreddit with the comments that match that subreddit. Second, it grabs the title and comments and then translates the text using text-to-speech using the Google text-to-speech Python package. This will then save in an MP3 file to use later. Third, it uses Playwright to simulate the browser and grab screenshots of each of the Reddit comments that correlate with the comments chosen and saves it to a PNG file. Fourth, it downloads the Minecraft background and then chops at some random point in the video to truly get a different result every single time. Fifth, using MoviePie, it edits all these clips together and uses some extreme basic math to find out when to switch images and we have a final product. I open source the code so anyone can use it. I try to make the code as readable as possible for people who wanted to contribute and add on to the software. It's still fairly limited in its current state, and I knew that beginners would get a kick out of contributing to something they can relate to. Some of the outputs are just hilarious too. They can range from cringe to just borderline hilarious or silly. What's a random obscure fact you know? Australia is wider than the moon. What is the most embarrassing thing you've ever witnessed? I used to work for a small coffee shop that had three locations. What's something Gen Z isn't ready to hear? that one day you too will be outdated. I made a short showcasing my work and the response was unexpected to say the least. Over 1.3 million views on TikTok, 150K views on YouTube and hitting GitHub trending for multiple days caused this project to just spiral out of control. A couple of things stood out to me. First, the amount of people who wanted to learn how to code using this project was pretty surprising to me. Usually people are pretty explicit with wanting to learn code, but the Reddit video bot was almost like a Trojan horse for introducing people to learn code. Second was the amount of people who really, really don't like this type of content. A lot of Reddit accounts posted a comment saying that the project was cool, but they weren't bots. Some of the responses to those comments were sometimes pretty funny. After 24 hours of this video going public, the amount of feature requests and then feature implementations was just absolutely nuts. At the bottom of this project, which you can find in the description by the way, I added some features that can be used to make this project much easier. Almost all of them have been completed and the team on my Discord server had to basically do a 180 and maintain a project. So shout out to Callum, Freebie, Harry, and Pix for helping maintain all of this. Also shout out to all of the contributors for making this project such a fun collaboration to work on with the community. So here are some things I've learned from this. I have always had respect for open source maintainers, but my respect for them has broken the ceiling at this point. The amount of time I have put in after releasing this has been overwhelming. Currently, there are over 116 open issues and 20 open pull requests. Second, developing through open source is the best way to learn code as a maintainer and someone trying to contribute. I believe this because of the amount of code you have to read. As a maintainer, I'm trying to make the code base as easy as possible to enter for newcomers, so editing and reviewing code is a long process. As someone who's contributing code, trying to use a software you haven't used before to add more to it is also a daunting task. The community response to all of this is amazing, but what truly motivates me is the people who see something bigger in this project. Some people on my Discord channel, link in the description, think that it can be used as a way to automate almost all forms of low quality content. After hearing this and then going on my own algorithm, I started to realize that there is a huge amount of similar content using different websites as reference or even just straight up taking YouTube videos and playing them over a video game background. There are also some other great ideas like doing Twitter threads instead of Reddit threads, using green text stories, doing a compilation of memes, transcribing a funny audio passage, summarizing a news article in just one paragraph and have it read out with relevant screenshots. This also presents another issue that people had with my bot. By creating a bot that automates the process of making lower quality content, I am essentially saturating the market with this low quality content. My thought process is a little different. You can create this type of content on your phone if you needed to. My point of making this was to help people learn to code by coding something they would see practical. If this low quality content exists, then it will always exist, even if I made a bot for it or not. 
Of course, you can find the link to this bot in the description if you want to try it yourself or contribute to it. What things would you like to see me automate next? If you want to join the discussion or the contribution of this bot, make sure you check out my Discord channel in the description below. Thanks for watching.